Hey, good morning, fellow teachers. Um, hopefully this will help out people at LC, but maybe at other schools too. I don't know. So hey, you want to get, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically cut this video down to everything you need just to get a basic start on presenting video lessons that include your picture and have you kind of personalized to you talking and also what you're doing on the screen for the students. Let's get started. You're going to go here and you're going to search for OBS Studio. Unfortunately, you won't be able to do this and install it on those little laptops the district is loaning because as far as I can tell, we don't have admin privileges. So this might be for something on your own computer. Um, so use that if you wish. If not, I don't know what to say. The website we need is obsproject.com. We can go right here. And you're going to click this one to download for Windows. If you've got a Mac or Linux, you can do those. You'll have to figure out some other stuff on your own, but this is for Windows. I think most people are probably going to be using that. So click that one and get that going. And once it downloads into your download folder, install that. I'm going to assume you can do that. If not, tough luck. I don't know what to tell you. So um, let's go ahead and hide this for just a quick second. Well, actually, let's go to this first next. So, okay, can I do this and do I want to? First of all, why would I want to do this? Well, Let's zoom in so we can see this better, a little bit better. Why would you want to do this? Because you can record lessons, it's free, and it is insanely powerful studio level type stuff. All the streamers on YouTube for video games and everything else, they're using this, or not all of them, but a lot of them. It's more powerful and better than the stuff we pay 150 bucks for at the school, which is Camtasia. This is better. And this is there's a good reason why everybody uses it. What do you need? You need a computer, obviously. In this video, I'm going to cover Windows, but you saw you can use Linux or Mac also. You need a webcam. Uh, me, I'm using a webcam that's on top of my monitor because this is a desktop. But you, you, you don't really need that unless you want your picture in the corner. Now, that's really important for the students to actually see someone delivering the web lesson. But you can get by without this. You just won't have your picture in the corner. You will need a microphone. Otherwise, the kids won't be able to tell you what, uh, tell what you're telling them to do. You'll be able, they'll be able to see what you're doing on the computer screen, but they will, they'll have no idea what you're saying. So you'll need a microphone. Not bad. And, and you know, a webcam is going to come with a microphone built in. A laptop is a computer. It's going to have a webcam and a microphone 99% of the time. So you're set to go probably if you have a laptop. Okay. I'm going to also say one more thing that helps with this is if you have dual monitors, two monitors on one computer, that does really help. But we can do it without that. All right. Major steps in the process. We're going to install OBS Studio. We just went over that. We're going to set it up. This takes a little bit, but not much. It's not very hard. You're going to see. And then we're going to actually um, record something and then publish it to YouTube. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Okay. So um, let's get going. And if I make some mistakes along the way, bear with me. So let's pretend that you have now installed OBS and it, it says, hey, you want to launch it? You've launched it. You're going to open up something like this, but you're probably what it's going to say is, do you want to run the auto configuration wizard? Say yes, you want to run that, and it's going to come up with something like this. You want to optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. Don't worry, you can always go back and do this later again, so it's no big deal. But for right now, we're going to record and then upload them. Live streaming can be a little tricky with education, so you know it's up to you, though. There's definitely reasons why you might want to do that, but for now, we're going to optimize for recording. Next. Okay, now this is pretty important. It's going to give you a suggest a canvas size that's going to probably match your main primary monitor. Just leave this alone. That's fine. Whatever that tells you, you it depends on how big your monitor is, okay? If you have problems with that, we can, we can take a look at that later. And then I'm going to apply the settings. Then we need to go down here into settings, and we need to fix a couple of other things. So I'm going to go to settings, and I'm going to go down, first of all, to output. That's what I want to go to. And you're going to change the path. Now, it should default to your, your, your video files, your video folder in your computer. But you can browse and point that to wherever you want. This is where it's going to save your files. This doesn't do you any good if you don't know where it's saved, right? You can leave this alone, but you definitely need to change the recording format to MP4. Otherwise, some of these other formats you won't be able to. There's some benefits to those other formats, but you won't be able to upload directly to YouTube. MP4 is the most ubiquitous format, I think, for video. Everybody's using that, okay? So we're going to change the output directory if you need to. If it's going to your videos, fine, great. Um, and you're going to change this to MP4. Very, very, very important stuff, okay? All right, so I think at this point, um, if, we, if you need later, you can change the resolution and stuff like that. But for now, let's just press OK. All right, let's go back over here and take a look. Um, we've downloaded this. We've run our configuration. When we've changed it to MP4. We set this to output the videos into the folder we know where to find. Now, hey, let's get into actually making a video. Okay, so 
Now, got to be careful. I hope this is functional because I'm recording the recorder software, which is kind of tricky. So bear with me on this. All right, so video capture device. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add your picture to this thing so it's more personal. I always like watching the YouTube videos where I can see the person talking to me. I feel like that's really important for kids. So we're going to go down here. So we have a scene. We'll talk later about how to do multiple scenes, but I don't want to confuse you with that. You have a scene. You can't delete this because you have to have at least one scene that's running. Forget about that. What you need to know is sources. This is the stuff that's going to build our scene and make it look cool and make something that's interesting for the kids to watch. Plus, add. And we're going to first start out with a video capture device. That's what your webcam is. It's video capturing to the computer. So video capture device. And I'm going to name this. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this webcam C270 because this is a Logitech C270 webcam. Press OK. Ah, there I am. Hey, there you. There we go. Now, the, it's, at this point, we're just getting the video. We're not getting the audio, so we'll have to set that up later. But this is pretty good. I'm going to move my webcam down just a little bit. Whatever. So you can set that up, zoom in and out, whatever. They might be a little tricky for you with your setup, but I'm not going to get into all that because I, I want to do this. Now, look what's happened. Now that we have this, if I click on this thing, it selects it with a box around it, and I can drag that. I find that a lot of times you want to tell them to do something on the Start menu down here with Windows. But you can put it up here, here, right in the middle if you really want to. I don't suggest that. So I'm going to drag it over to the corner. I'm just grabbing it and moving it. When it has this red, this, I'm colorblind, but I think it's a red outline, it means you can move it. I'm going to grab the corner, and I'm going to drag it down to make it whatever size you want. For some scenes, you want to be big. For other scenes, you want to be small. We'll get into that later. For now, I'm just going to set one up right down here, about like that. It's good enough for everybody to see me. Adjust my cam just a little bit. I might want to close this window behind me. It's kind of drowning it out, but let's just keep after it. Okay, cool. So we have that, but um, we need to set up um, an audio input. I think I might have done some audio in there too. Did it? I don't think so. So there we go. And I'm going to add an audio source. And we have to actually capture what the the uh, the camera is saying. So I'm going to go to audio output or excuse me audio input capture, and we're going to add that so that the kids can actually hear what I'm saying. And you're, what you're going to do is you're going to point it to this device. See, I'm using the microphone on my HD webcam 270. This is for my Oculus Rift, like a VR setup. This is another one that I'm using right now to record the recording of the video. Kind of confusing, but just go with um, whatever your your laptop microphone is. So I'm going to click that microphone right there. I've got that in there. So what you can do is you can scroll up and down and see the different microphones that are going. Ooh, I have two of them going for some reason. Um, I'm going to just mute this one. That's fine. So you see, these are the different audio sources that are coming in. And one of the things that we're going to add is also the sound from the computer. So I think this is going to double record at this point. That's not good. Okay, so I'm just going to mute this other one. So you can mute audio sources right here. Check, 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 test, test. So now I've got one audio source running. So we are ready. Now the kids can see me, they can hear me, but there's nothing on the screen to see. It's just a big black, blank, empty screen. So we need to now add up, add in here a display capture. So I'm gonna go down here and it is a display. A display is your computer monitor. So this is one method. You can, you know, there's a lot of other things you can add. You notice there, you can add a JPEG, just a big picture on the screen whatever and you can add as many of these things as you want resize the windows however you want to that's what's awesome about this software it's very versatile so display capture that's fine and now this is where this is why i saved this for last because what it's what you're seeing here is it's a display capture of this display so it loops infinitely that's very confusing and where did my little picture go we had a problem there we got to fix that so here's what you're going to do see this webcam this was my picture it's now underneath this display capture because the display capture is on top this is like a layer in photoshop and other programs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the up arrow and move this up up so it's on top again bam and now we have the picture of me okay let's go f oh Oh yeah, 11.56. I got a PE exploratory meeting in four minutes. Let's see if we can get this thing done. If I'm a little late to that meeting, I hope they understand. All right, so look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, and now this starts to look actually more reasonable. I'm gonna, oh, here's my display. Yeah, that's fine, I want that, that's great. I'm doing the whole screen. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna kind of minimize this and get it out of the way, and let's start teaching a sample lesson, okay? So let's record a sample lesson. So. Get this back. There's my setup. And I'm going to go to start recording. Boom.
Now my computer is now recording two files at once. I've never done this before. I hope it works because I'm recording this file and that. Okay, hey kids, blah, 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 blah. we're making a lesson. We're, we're really learning a lot of stuff here. Okay, so great. So hey kids, I'm going to pretend we're doing this lesson and I'm recording it. Hey guys, we're going to go to maps.google.com. Hey guys, and this is just for fun, just to give you a sample so we can do this. Hey, let's type in Lewis and Clark Middle School and we'll go there and... Again, sample lesson, nothing special. Hey, kids, you can drag this out, whatever. You know, and I don't know. If you're going to ask me what to teach, you're in the wrong job. You have to, you have to figure that part on your own. <laughs> so, um, okay, guys, that's how you could find my classroom from Street View. I hope you enjoyed this outstanding lesson today, taught by a very, very uh, competent educational professional. It wasn't it a great lesson? Okay, great. So now that I'm done with this part, I'm going to bring this back up, and I'm going to press Stop Recording. And it's going to take a second, and there we have it. Okay, so now over here, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go to, um, let's see, where was this? This was going to be in Documents and Video. Oops, sorry, no, that's not true. Oh, here it is, Videos, sorry. Okay, now look, let's take a look, and hey, I'll bet you this is the one, right? Isn't this it? Let's say 2.20, 3.30, and you can see it gives you a time that it, uh, that it was recording at, 11.56. That's when I recorded this. Boom. Now my computer is now recording two files at once. I've never done this before. I hope it works, because I'm recording... So what we're doing now is we're looking, is this video any good, dude? we got to see if it's any good. Let me mute this guy. He's annoying, right? And I can go through there. Hey, listen, while you're previewing it, Look carefully for some of the stuff that pops up up here because this will, like, if you've gone to other places that mm, may not be, you know, they could pop up up there potentially as you're typing in some other web address. So always watch your work before you publish it for education. I can't stress that enough because you might have slipped or, you know, said something or whatever. Just just watch your work. I would, I'd recommend that. Okay. Looks like my lesson worked. This, this video worked fine, right? Cool, so I'm gonna close that up. And just so I know which one it is, sample lesson, let's just name that file right now. And um, let's go ahead and get this on YouTube. So the, not, the last part is we're gonna upload it to YouTube. Be careful, personal stuff popping up, remember that. We're gonna upload it to YouTube, name the video, set the privacy lev levels, and then copy and paste so you can share that with someone on your email or with a student or something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm logged in under my school account. Um, I also publish stuff on my own. Hey, there's Mr. E. He's a, he's a YouTube channel. So I'm logged in in the school account, and you're going to click here to create a video and more and going to upload video. You could live stream from here, but that's a whole other topic. And my internet is not good enough. Okay, great. No one cares. So here, they're asking you to select a file. And I'm going to go back to my videos, and I'm going to point it at Sample Lesson. Now, you have to give it a title. This is the title that it's going to have on the screen. So, Sample Lesson for Teacher OBS Video. You're going to name that whatever you want. Your description, I don't, you can, you can, you can put links down here and all kinds of stuff. Care about this video. This is just a sample, right? You can upload custom thumbnails. We can get into that later, but I just want to do here. Now, this, here's another thing that's important. Um, yes, it's made for kids or no. That's part of the new rules that they have. Um, you could change some things, but um, we want to find... Here we go. Where is... Oh, so go to next. Video elements, that's fine. You can do a little bit of rudimentary editing here, not much. Visibility, this is important. You could do it private, okay? So you choose the people who can see it. Unlisted. This is a good option if you don't want the whole internet to be able to search for it, but you want to be able to share it on an email link with a colleague. Public. I recommend this one because you know what? Your YouTube videos might help some other teacher out there as well. So I'm going to set this one to public. Okay? Or unlisted because nobody's going to benefit from this stupid sample video that we recorded, that dumb little street view. And I press save. Okay? And now see it's uploading. Okay, it's going to be ready soon. needs to finish processing. Oh, a standard definition. Okay, well, whatever. So here it is. You can see 
this is going to go here and then to get a link for this you can get a shareable link right here and it's copied to the clipboard and then let's say that you're on the email system or whatever you could do here and you could type and paste that right in here to your email and then your colleagues can see that hey man i hope this helped some people if this doesn't work man just tell me and i'll redo the video and like try to revise it because i this is already set up on mine so i may be skipping some steps that i take for granted Hey man, if this helps you out, and I hope it does, um, let me know.